talking this evening with a detailed look at crimes that the district attorney says a King City police officer committed along with his co-workers. This is all part of that King City cop scandal that continues to grow. This afternoon, the district attorney released details in the search warrant that was used to uncover information about Officer Bobby Carrillo and the department's IT manager. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen is live tonight with our top story. Well, then the search warrant released tonight gives us more context, really, about the actions of Officer Bobby Carrillo, one of six officers that have actually been charged in this case. And for the first time, this describes the police department's IT manager, Kenneth Tippery. He's the man investigators say helped the alleged mastermind of the King City tow scandal, Bobby Carrillo. He's IT manager Kenneth Tippery, described as Carrillo's close associate and listed as a California registered sex offender in a search warrant released to the public Friday. This is Tippery's selfie posted on a professional networking site. According to investigators, Tippery allowed Carrillo to illegally access the department's network from home, helping Carrillo cover up his crimes and use the information for his personal benefit. In the 60-page search warrant, new light is shed on the way Carrillo abused his badge, the way he impounded cars and sold them for personal profit. He even, the document says, sold a Ford Explorer to the King City PD's record clerk in 2012. She says she was told many times to waive fees and release cars to people other than their owners. But then she also bought a car, she says, for $1,500, while investigators found she paid as little as $100. And the incident that may have set off the entire unraveling of Carrillo's crimes, a domestic violence call. The suspect, his friend's son. And fellow officer Bowen calling his supervisor when he read Carrillo's police report from the call and found out he had falsified and lessened the crimes, leaving out a chase through city streets and minimizing the violence to the victim. Officer Bowen is described as a 12-year veteran to law enforcement, but new to King City when he reported the falsified report. And his unfamiliarity with Carrillo's established tow scandal could have been what brought it all down. Well, we do want to be clear that Tippery has not been charged with anything at this point. And I talked to the DA this afternoon, Dan. He said there are no charges so far looming for him. All right, thank you very much, Brittany. Earlier this week, we told you prosecutors plan to file another perjury charge against the former chief of King City's police, Nick Baldivius. He is already charged with embezzlement and perjury. Prosecutors claim he lied under oath during a hearing in June. His attorney disagrees and says he hopes to dismiss those charges.